Let's update you on what is happening with Hurricane Beryl, the government in Jamaica urging people to prepare. We can show you what is happening there live at the moment. Beryl, due to make landfall in the coming hours, uh, the Prime Minister Andrew Holness has said people should stock up on food, water, candles and other essentials and urge them to move to safer areas before it's too late. So Beryl has already caused extensive damage on other Caribbean islands with winds of more than 240 kilometres per hour and five people are known to have died so far. Well, let's get more now on the storm's projected path. Our meteorologist, Sarah Keith Lucas, is with me now. Can I start by asking you what makes Beryl so dangerous? Because the Caribbean is used to dealing with hurricanes. Yes, absolutely. So Jamaica typically sees a hurricane every three or four years, but rarely this time of year and rarely so powerful. So normally if we do see these major hurricanes, they form much, much later um, in the summer. So this is unusually early and unusually powerful. We have to go back decades to find a comparable storm uh, that's arrived across Jamaica itself, with winds still 145 miles per hour, 230 kilometers an hour, and only only a matter of hours really before that storm approaches uh, the south of Jamaica. I mean tell us about the path of the storm Sarah because when we look at the live pictures it's still yeah. quite tranquil I mean you can start yes. to see a few white caps in the water and obviously the winds are picking up but what is the yes, projected path? that's right so the cloud's been increasing the wind's been picking up some big waves around as well the satellite image in fact shows that the storm has been just pushing gradually westwards over recent hours it is forecast to weaken a little bit as it continues its path westwards but it's certainly going to be pushing very close to Jamaica over the next few hours. So probably around about 7 p.m. British summer time and local time there in Jamaica, that's about one o'clock in the afternoon for them. So it's going to arrive across Jamaica, bringing those really strong, life-threatening winds there, in fact. But of course, it's not just the winds. They're going to see a storm surge, so up to about two and a half metres, up to nine feet. Uh, uh, the sea level is going to rise by that much. So here it is on the satellite image. You can see it moving its way gradually towards the west. So it's already bringing really heavy rain and those very damaging winds across parts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. If we take a look at its path then, there it is, it's moving across Jamaica. It's also then going to arrive across the Cayman Islands and that'll be during the early hours of Thursday morning. Still a storm surge of about two to four feet. And it's still going to be a hurricane, we think, when it arrives across the Yucatan Peninsula in southern Mexico and then pushes out into the Gulf of Mexico by Saturday. So really several days of heavy rain, life-threatening, damaging winds and significant storm surge right across the region. And Sarah, what role is climate change playing in what we're seeing? seeing here, the fact that it's so early in the season particularly. Yeah, so what climate change has, has, has done really is obviously added warmth to the atmosphere, but also to the oceans as well. So over the past 12 months, we've seen record-breaking ocean heat right around the world. And temperatures across this part of the world at the moment are about two or three degrees where, above where we'd expect them to be. So you need temperature of 26 Celsius or higher in order to form a hurricane. But sea here is about 29 Celsius. So just that extra heat from the oceans is adding more power to these storms. So with climate change, it doesn't mean we're going to see more hurricanes, but when they do form, potentially like Beryl, they could be extremely powerful and longer lasting as so well. So just briefly then, what is the prediction for the season, given we're so early on? What do you think is going to happen in the coming months? Yeah, well, the predictions are for a really active season. So Beryl could just be the first in, in a series of powerful hurricanes that we're going to see, probably up to between about four to seven major hurricanes. Now, on an average year, we see around about three of those hurricanes, so potentially double the amount compared to an average year. We're coming out of El Nino as well, and that just adds um, more fuel as well to the fire in terms of hurricane development because El Nino suppresses hurricanes. If we head towards La Nina, the opposite, uh, that's conducive for more hurricanes to build as well. So mm -hmm. I think we are going to see a pretty active season. Yeah, really worrying news for people in the region. We're Absolutely. keeping a close eye on Beryl and there's a live page up and running on the BBC News website as well. Uh, we've just been hearing from one of our correspondents in Jamaica who says that there has been a bit of a run on the supermarkets as well. People going in there, grabbing as much as they can. But there's not too much panic because as Sarah was saying they are used to hurricanes there and they have been told uh, to prepare so uh, there is a, you know people going out stocking up but not too much panic